everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pinwheel tower card. Saw this on Pinterest and I thought that looks pretty cool. Let's make it. And my stamp club made this for September. I love the way these came out. So this is another thing that people are going to want to leave out on their table, their desk and, and just look at. So it uh, is a really cool display art piece. Pinwheel tower card. Two different kinds and what's really cool about these is squash they lay flat to mail so this will fit in a standard size envelope four and a quarter by five and a half and then boom nice little tabletop display so I really like that about these that they can fold flat and fit into a standard envelope might need an extra stamp because of the bulk and the layers what all you might add to it could create a little extra postage there it's very easy, so let's uh, grab our supplies and you can follow along if you want. I'm going to start out with this card. This pinwheel tower card uses our brand new color of the year, Wildberry. Close to my heart is spot on with the trends. I am seeing this color everywhere. Uh, gorgeous. So I'll show you a few other products that we have with Wildberry putting this together. You're going to need a trimmer and a scoring blade or bone folder. The base piece that I'm using is four and a quarter by four and a half. These cards are four and a quarter inches tall. One end needs to be four and a quarter and then it's four and a half across. We're going to score one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch redfish bluefish right <laughs> it just kind of fits you're going to end up with a half inch tab down the side so we're going to fold this together and put glue on that half inch piece four and a quarter tall way four and a half across we're going to score at one inch two inch easy stuff right three and four. Now our cardstock is two-toned. It has the true color on one side and on the flip side is a lighter version of that color. With this particular one it doesn't matter which side. We're making the tower piece in here. I have the dark side to the inside so I'm going to fold it so that the dark color is to the inside. Let's get rid of that. Take your bone folder, smash it. This is going to be important for this style card so it lays flatter, as flat as possible with everything you're going to add to it. You want those creases nice and sharp. Alrighty, adhesive, glue, whatever your preference, down that side and just Lay it down and close it. There you go. When that is adhered, flip it and flatten it some more. We want that nice and squashed. So there's your tower. Simple, right? The panels on the sides are four and a quarter by two and three quarter. We need four of those. And I'll show you how to glue these down. So here's your tower. And I'm right-handed. I don't, I don't think it really matters, but I'm starting with this panel here. And I'm going to lay that right down on the edge. Okay, so you have this piece glued on. Now what you want to do, think of like turning pages in a book. If we turn this over, flatten this now, and then put glue on this next piece, this next one inch piece. Next panel here, right at the edge. 
Again, think of pages in a book. Turn it, flatten it, continue on to this one inch piece. Next panel, to the edge. And last page of the book, flip it again, flatten it. Ta-da! That was simple, right guys? Simple, simple. Okay, layering. All right, now this, this is your card. So you can jazz it up however you like. I had the thought process of taking the same wild berry cardstock, but flipping it, you can see kind of on the video here, the dark and the light contrast. And I, I ran it through an embossing folder. This is one of my favorites, an oldie but goodie. And we'll start, we'll start with that panel. And I cut these an eighth of an inch smaller, so there will be a little bit of an edge all around. So it's uh, two and three quarter by four and a quarter. So two and five eighths by four and one eighth. If you're a math person, just cut it slightly smaller. So you have that border, little eighth inch border. Alrighty, we'll flip it like a book to the next panel here and pattern paper. This was from an old kit. It's got little black hearts on one side, rainbow stripes on the other side. I thought the black and white would be a nice addition with this cool wild berry color. There you can see my border around the sides there. Okay, and I'm gonna add a pocket page on this side. So I took a piece and just lopped off a little bit of an edge. I'll show you more specifically on the next card how to do that. Oh, don't do what I did. Oh no, I just put glue. <laughs> Whoops. All right, tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a piece of scrap paper. Here's how to fix a fudge. Because I put glue on that, uh, and this is what I taught in class. Don't glue your pocket shut. I just did. So don't put glue on that top edge. So because I did, I'm going to cover that with a piece of cardstock. And let's trim this off. Silly me. We all make mistakes sometimes. Did you ever glue something onto a front of a card and find out that your card opened the opposite direction or it was upside down? Oh yeah. But there's usually always a way to fix a fudge. Uh, you know what, I put glue. Ah uh, yeah, I was so silly. That was just a silly, silly thing to do. So I'm just gonna cover that up. Cover up my sticky with some cardstock. Let's try this again. So pretend this is our regular piece. Okay, it's a pocket, just the edges. Silly, silly girl. And that's gonna get glued down there. So that's one way to fix a fudge. You get glue where you don't want it, put some paper up against it, cover that up. All right, flip it like a book. And back to some more embossed panels. Same thing. And actually, when you are embossing, because I had two of these small ones and two of these bigger ones, you can stack these in the embossing folder. So you can take two, stack them on top of each other like a sandwich, and put it in the embossing folder, and then run it through your cuddle bug, your big shot, whatever machine you have. And our embossing folders are deep enough that it will go through both layers at the same time. Save yourself a little bit of work. Sandwich it and do both at the same time. 
All right, last page of the book here. I have a piece of white that I stamped. Some things just get better with age, and you are definitely one of them. I will show you the stamp set that this came from. This stamp came from our brand new September Slimline collection, Slimline Celebration. This is a whole bundle of cool products they came out with for National Stamping Month, which is September. But these products are available all the way through October 31st. So here it is. You got some really cool sentiments for slimline cards, the tall cards. And that's the one that we used. But this is really cool. Ba -ba -da! Flip it over. You got horizontal messages. So this is a double set. How cool is that? You got your vertical message and your horizontal messages. Okay, so let us go back to our first page and we'll add our little decorations here. So I'm going to show you another stamp set from this special. I lost the balloon. There it is. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> These little woodland animals, aren't they adorable? And then you get all the thin cuts to match there. So I use the happy birthday to you and the bunny in that set. <coughs> so with a water brush, I'm going to come to this wild berry ink pad. And I'm just going to, I test out my water brush on the back of my hand just to give it a gentle squeeze, make sure some water's coming out there. Give it a little swipe. You can test it on your scrap paper first. You don't want too much color a little bit goes a long way and you're painting i'm outlining the balloon and i did the tips of the the bunny ears so using a water brush and the lid of your inks this is a really cool way to do some watercoloring and that's all we're going to do Me, I got a tickle. <coughs> Ooh. There's the ears and the balloon. Just outline that. I cut the balloon die out of glitter cardstock. <coughs> Pardon me. Here's another little mistake. <coughs> oh my goodness, I can't breathe. Here's another little mistake. It chopped off a little bit of the balloon, so I'm going to camouflage that. You don't have to throw it away. So let's make this work. All right, little bunny rabbit goes down here. And let's lay this without glue first. So I want to camouflage that little cut out right there. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to kind of camouflage it and hide it with that balloon and just overlapping. Yeah, I like it that way. It works. So look at that. You're, you've learned two ways to fix a fudge. <laughs> When you make a little fudge, foam tape on that balloon there. All right, so <clears throat> before my coughing fit, I'm sorry about that, guys. I cut the balloon die out of the wild berry glitter paper. So really pretty, really pretty there. Okay, next panel, let's uh, come to our pocket page here. I have a little tag. I cut this with a die out of the wild berry glitter cardstock. It's beautiful. And just a little scrap piece of white, make a wish. When you layer things onto glitter cardstock, you want to use either 3D foam tape or glue dots. So I'm going to use glue dots. Uh, the regular glue <clears throat> and adhesive tape runners usually don't hold on the glitter cardstock. It's just too textured for that. 
couple glue dots around the edges. And there's your, your little pocket. Remember I was kind of gluing that shut like, oh no. So here we go. I've got a little, it's a little sticky. Still, I'll work on that. But there's the, the pocket for our little tag. Yep, so it's getting hung up on the cardstock that I glued in there, that's all. But I will fix that a little bit more later. All right, this panel, you're going to love this. So there's a new product called the Pumpkin Spice Card Kit. And with that, you get this beautiful stamp set with leaves and messages. And you get matching thin cut dies for all of the leaves and the little acorn there. But there is a very cool banner die that comes with that card kit, pumpkin spice card kit. And this banner creates little score marks in the paper. It may be hard to see on the video, but you're going to have one going <clears throat> to the front and then one goes to the back, to the front, to the back, and to the front. So this really long die, oh, here it is. I have washi tape on it too to, to hold it down. You need a whole 12 inch long piece of paper and a larger die cutting machine for this to fit in. But there it is, the banner die, and that's what it does. Really cool effect there. Some assembly required. So I'm going to use the intense black ink with a few messages. <clears throat> And when you stamp messages on this, it's easiest if you unfold it and make it flat. But you want to make sure that your messages are going the right direction. So my banner is going to be going this way. So that's going to be my first message. So I'm going to open this up and stamp my first message on there, which is <clears throat> to a very special someone. And then my next message, you're gonna you're we're gonna work backwards on this. So you can you can fold it again and see that okay, this is the next one that needs to be stamped. So open it back up. Happy birthday. And then the last message, make a wish. Skip one. We're working in reverse here. And that's how that's gonna work. <clears throat> So when you stamp these banners, just go backwards and skip the second and the fourth panel. So when this folds around, this is what it looks like. Isn't that cool? But it's, it's a little plain. We're gonna jazz it up here with another new product, a Wild Berry Shimmer Trim. This is Sticky Back glitter shimmer trim and the glitter never rubs off so if you like the effect of glitter <clears throat> but you hate the mess shimmer trim is what you want and my tip for you those in my stamp club are familiar with this leave a tail of the uh, cellophane backing because it makes it very easy to grab if you just cut it off straight you're gonna you're gonna be picking and picking and picking and picking it's really hard to separate it so leave a tail pull it back and then work with it on the roll and this shimmer trim is going to fit just perfectly inside this banner frame or the the banner piece come down to this one And just snip it where that fold is. So we have shimmer trim and those in between pieces. So now when you fold the banner, oh, look at how much cooler that is. Love it. And because it's it, the nature of glitter in there, I'm coming back to glue dots. So I'm going to open up my banner and put a glue dot like right where it's going to <clears throat> overlap and uh, you can also choose to leave this uh, you don't have to glue it you can leave it open so it, it'll be more 
it'll be more gappy in the banner, which looks pretty cool. So just a personal preference there. I'm just adding a little glue dot and one more. Okay. Beautiful. All right, now we can glue this onto our card. Back to there. It's going to go in this piece. Right in the middle. Love the way that turned out. All right, and on this panel, another Wildberry new product. We've got these really cute flower sequins. There's two different sizes here, <clears throat> a small and a large. And we're going to add a big one and two little ones just for a little, little dose of happiness there. And a little piece of dog hair. And there you have it. So there is our pinwheel tower card number one, Wild Berry. Embossed panels, cute little bunny from the Slimline Celebration, die cut your glitter paper hearts, glitter paper tag, pocket, the banner die, and the stamp message. So on my sample here, uh, on this one particularly, I added a photo. That's my friend Lynn. We were just in Newport, Rhode Island, having a blast. Okay, number two. Number two is the pumpkin spice paper that we're going to use here. So I did start assembling some of that already. Let me get my pieces here. The tower for this one is the pumpkin spice pattern paper. So this is lighter weight, so it's not going to be as bulky. So I started gluing on my panels, and I just have one more to do here. Remember that from earlier, right to the edge. Okay, and there it stands up into our cool little pinwheel. All right, so let's start decorating this. My piece is out here. This is the pumpkin spice pattern paper. This is brand new. How many of you are ready for all of the pumpkin spice stuff? The coffee, the donuts, the candles, and home decor, and all that jazz. I love it. I can't wait to get some mums and some gourds to put out front. Turn the page. Pattern paper here. This is so pretty. This is including a brand new color that we have called Harbor, which is this background that's like a dark navy blue. But it, it has almost a chameleon type of effect because sometimes it almost looks dark greenish depending on what you put with it. It's very cool and very popular. Somebody had posted on our Facebook page some home decor that they found in a store that was this exact color palette. So Close to My Heart is staying on top of the trends, that is for sure. <clears throat> Alrighty, let me come to this pocket here and show you how to do that. So I have the piece cut into a, a 2 and 5 eighths by 2 and 3 quarter. It's 2 and 3 quarter inches tall. And <clears throat> rather than cut corner to corner, I didn't want to do that because the pocket would be, uh, it wouldn't hold, the things would fall out more readily. So I just cut a wedge. So I turned it sideways and if, if you wanted to, you can just eyeball it about an inch down. You can make a pencil dot. 
So come down about an inch and then you're going to cut from that dot to the corner. So I just put it in my paper trimmer here, that dot to that corner and lop it off. <clears throat> That's all there is to it. You make your little pocket. And now I'm going to remember it's a pocket. Just glue the three sides. Silly me. You gotta laugh at yourself once in a while, right? And flip the page. Here's another message. We may live far apart, but you're always in my heart. That is also from the Slimline Celebration Kit. That double message set. <clears throat> Pattern paper here. Alrighty, and then we can just decorate our pages to finish up. <clears throat> With the pumpkin spice theme, there are these little adorable little mugs. I stamped and cut those out. Too cute. And let's see, let's let's do our little pocket. I have a tag already done up, so I die cut the tag, stamp sending warm hugs. That's from the pumpkin spice stamp set. And we'll just put that right in there. And well, we gotta do a banner next. So this one I have already done up to save time. So same banner out of white. And I stamped thankful for you. Remember, stamp it backwards. Thankful for you. Flip it over and I used our um, <clears throat> Desert Rose shimmer trim in there. Let me come back to my glue dots. And flip that. I just absolutely love the way this shimmer trim looks in the in-between sections. Super cool. And the pumpkin spice card kit, um, I think it's back ordered at the moment. But let me show you two cards that you use this banner die for. <clears throat> this is one, sending warm hugs, and another style. So you get you get this whole roll of shimmer trim in the card kit. How pretty is that? So this is the pumpkin spice card kit, and you make two other styles, and you make four of each. So you get a lot of bang for your buck there. <clears throat> Missed one here. Alrighty. Beautiful. Love that. Let's glue this down. Right on this panel here. So pretty. And the last thing that we need to do is come to our stamped images. We've got two leaves and a little acorn. And I used the water brush for this as well in paprika. Same thing, just come to the lid and swipe off the little tip. I usually do that before and after just to make sure that it's clear and it's running. Take a little touch. And then you can fill that in so there's just a little bit of color and pigment just you don't want to saturate it too much otherwise it's going to look blurry so <clears throat> start out with a lighter touch less is more when it comes to water swipe it off on your scrap paper because sometimes there will be a little bit more pigment in there. You want to get that off of the brush. Because, you, you know, one water brush you can use for every color that we have. And then we'll come back to, to add some of these on just for a little bit of pop and decoration with the theme here. Put that 
towards the top. And here we'll add a leaf at the bottom. And also you can leave a room, leave room for a photo here. And this one I want to leave here. Right down there. All right, you guys. There you have it. There's your pocket sending warm hugs. There's room for a photo. Nice message. Room for another photo. And the banner. Let me show you my finished one. That's my buddy Leanne out in Wisconsin. And there we are in Chicago. Pinwheel Tower Cards. So I hope you like this, guys. It's pretty darn simple. If you have any questions, just post a comment. And thanks for joining me.